Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 102 by 25 Gooseneck Beaver Tail Deck Over Trailer. Take a walk around it and show you all the standard features as well as the two options on this one. We've optioned this with the 8,000 pound axle upgrade as well as the full width ramp. So let's take a look. We'll go over all the features here. So up front, a standard 2 and 5 16 gooseneck coupler. Of course, it's got your safety chains. On the neck, we see a 12 inch vertical and horizontal, a little bit heavier than the industry standard. They also take the time to put the neck gussets on the neck. So from the vertical to the horizontal, and then from the vertical to the side rail, they've got neck gusseting. Some of your other manufacturers in the industry will just put two uh, pieces of channel on the back of the neck. They go a little bit above and beyond there. So of course you got your front full width toolbox. You've got a pair of 12,000 pound jacks standard. And then those jacks are bolt on, not weld on. If you never need to replace them, it's easy to do so. They're using the bullet LED lights standard. Also, you've got a pair of side steps on both sides. One of the things we like is those little grippers seem to do an exceptional job at keeping you from slipping out of the side steps. Also on the neck, again, it's a 12 inch vertical and horizontal. One thing that Short Track does a little different some, most don't put a gusset plate there. So they weld the inside and the outside of the beam and then put the gusset plate and then also put the under neck bridge. So you got a full width toolbox, is standard equipment. Two by six pressure treated deck. Short Track does a few additional tie downs. Some of your cheaper trailers will have just a stake pocket and rub rail. A lot of your Texas trailers will add chain spools or pipe spools. Short Track also does eight D-ring standards, six on the deck and two on the tail. Okay, you can see the I-beam frame. That would make it a Pierce frame trailer. Pierce frame's been around quite a while. As technology's evolved, it's become a, a little bit more common, but still fairly rare on a single wheel trailer application. The Pierce frame simply doing exactly what it says. It's piercing the cross member through the frame. And basically your cross member, instead of sitting on top of the I-beam, it's going through the I-beam and then the wood sits flush with the top of the bed. That's gonna lower your trailer down from about 36 inches to about 32, giving you a much nicer load angle when loading equipment. Also, Short Track uses a six inch channel side rail on their trailer. It's an 8.2 foot pound. Some of your cheaper ones will sometimes use a angle iron or I've even seen flat stock on the side rail. Underneath the trailer, again, it's a 12 inch beam, 16 inch on center cross members. There you can see the cross member piercing through the beam and then the wood sitting on top flush with the top of the I-beam. Underneath the trailer, Short Track uses what they refer to as cross track bracing. Cross track bracing is nice because it uh, effectively is a good bit stronger than a torque tube, acts in a similar manner, but yet lighter and ties into a lot more places on your trailer. You'll notice it ties into both the I-beam mainframe and also into all the cross members on the trailer. Also underneath, you'll see a little bit of runs there. Not only is it wet outside, which may be part of the runs, but you also see that's undercoating on the underside. Short Track's been undercoating for a number of years. Gives a much better durability to corrosion than would a paint job. Also, speaking of paint jobs, Short Track does not do powder coat on these units. They powder coat at three of their other four plants. At this particular plant, they do a wet coat. Trailer comes standard with a primer and then a urethane top coat. The urethane's a very durable painted finish. Again, it is a wet coat, not a powder coat. Very durable finish on the trailer, certainly one of the stronger points on the trailer. So the full width ramps, a couple things that we like here on Shore Tracks full width as opposed to some of the other ones that we sell and have seen in the industry. These are sprung both ways. Many manufacturers to get it up, you've got to work pretty hard. And then once it's in the down position, it's got plenty of spring to bring it up. Shore Track springs their ramps both ways to where even a fairly young kid could probably flip this ramp over. A few other details on the back ramp. You'll notice they use a tubular rear bumper, not an angle iron or a channel or a fab steel. You also notice, again, it's tubes, so it's all enclosed. There's no wiring hanging out, waiting to drag. On the rear beaver tail, Short Track does a three inch 
angle self-cleaning dove. Industry standard generally be a two inch, a little bit bigger, beefier angles on the dovetail. Short track also does weed poles on the ramp. So the water will drain out and not give you a thank you every time you flip the ramp up. Okay, so the full width ramps, couple benefits here. One would certainly be you've got full width loading. Also, you've got a flat 25 foot deck in the down position. And then also one thing that this achieves that most deck overs don't, they have flip over ramps, which generally don't stand up. These ramps are able to stand up, which means you can use your entire 25 foot deck. Gives you full width loading capability as well. So this basically combines what a triple ramp, a pop-up dove, and regular flip-over ramps basically all rolled into one setup. Again, the 8,000 pound axle upgrade. For those not familiar, 8Ks are fairly uncommon, but yet very versatile. For a guy looking for maximum payload under a 26,000 pound GVW, a lot of times 8K axles are the answer. Besides just giving additional payload, you get a much uh, better running gear setup. So unlike a 7K axle that have a 16 inch tire, 8K axles are gonna be equipped with one of a few setups. Some manufacturers use a 14 ply 16 inch wheel that's a non-solid wheel. Short track on these elects to use a 17.5 solid wheel tire assembly. That's a 16 ply tire, 215.75, Also notice on 8K axles, this is the first uh, axle or the lowest rated axle that uses oil bath hub standard. Oil baths are much better lubricant than the traditional grease bearings on what would be referred to as light duty axles. 8K axles would be the beginning of what would be referred to as a medium duty axle. Slipper spring suspension standard. It's also got a grease zert on it or a wet bolt kit. When you go to 8K axles, you also get much beefier brakes. The brakes on an 8K axle would be the same as a dual tandem 10K general duty axle. It'd be a 12 and a quarter by three and three eighth assembly. It has about three times more brake pad thickness. It has a uh, more aggressive compound, a much heavier duty magnet, and about a time and a half the width of a 7K axle setup. An 8K axle would be very ideal for somebody that has used a 7K axle previous and experience that they were putting a lot of miles on and or wearing brake pads out faster than they would like or faster than they expected. This comes in a variety of different lengths. You can also get it in a bumper pull or a tag trailer. We generally stock these in a 20 foot flat deck, five foot dovetail, what we refer to as a 20 plus five. Comes standard in a 7K axle. We also again stock it in this 8K axle and then also in a 20 plus five dual tandem 10K axle. It's a handful of upgrades on these. A spare tire mount in the neck is standard. A spare tire would be an option. The oak deck is another common, fairly common option that we see. Other than that, this trailer comes pretty well equipped with most of the standard features guys are looking for. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, give us a ring, 717. 220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.